suction cups. That's what you're looking at, people. Suction cups here. Uh, welcome back to the show floor here at PPMA TV, brought to you by friends at Markham Image. I'm joined by another friend here, Colin from Piab. Uh, you do have a vast array of suction cups here, and that's very much what your game is. Tell me a little bit more about Piab. Yeah, so basically what we do is a lot of vacuum automation. So a lot of these cups are for specific applications. So we've got these nice little green and yellow ones here. So they're very much used in cardboards. As my 12-year-old would say, very aesthetic. It is, it is. The people like the colours, etc. And then we've got nice blue ones here. So this is more for food applications. Oh, okay, okay. So they're like FDA approved and metal detectable. Um, and then we've got a, a lovely array of beautiful quirky cups from little soft grippers powered by vacuum nice. uh, to uh, pouch handling in a nice little green colour. We have our, our new uh, special all-rounder, the MX Cup. Um, so that's for anything at all in the packaging industry, for bin picking, uh, logistics, that kind of operations. And then we've got the, the bag cup here, which is especially good for like very loose fill, like pharmaceutical bags, those kind of operations. And the joy of your stand here is that we can also see these in application as well. Let's, uh, can, yeah. let's take a little bit of a wander around, shall we, Colin? What, what have we got first of all? We can take the same cups. Um, we can screw them onto a, a little Venturi ejector there. Straight into the, uh, the pod. And there we've just got a lifter there. So that will then... do the lifting and then obviously we can change the cup dependent on the on the bag or or the product that we want to lift so we just change it for a nice little cardboard cup there yeah, yeah. and there we go nice and easy and what we encourage people to do during the show is if they've got any products or samples and they want to bring it along and try it then we've got a vast array of suction cups so we can we can give it a go I'm not going to lie to you, Colin. I could probably spend a good few hours on yeah. this table just attaching different cups and it seeing is. what it lifts is. what. Um, however, <laughs> you've got some machinery that automates a little bit of this load also here to show us, haven't you? What have you got for us, first of all? This is the same technology built into vacuum conveying, so it's the same vacuum pump, but this is the safe uh, movement of, of powders and tablets, and what will happen is it's drawn through the through the hose there yep. and it uses that power the vacuum power to draw it into here yep. and then and then um, deliver it and uh, dump it into the bottom there uh, and that kind of application and operation let's lift some cardboard though shall we because uh, look I I love a good robot arm me and this looks like a cracking robot arm it is so you, you've got a cobot there so this is our end effect so we, we've attached to here this can be used with, uh, you have palletizing software as well, the likes of uh, Rocket Farm, where you can program your own uh, palletizing configuration. So I've got a four by three box, and then what we can do is feed that information in, it'll work out the best configuration of how to do it, and it'll do it all for you at the same time. And also we're using our, our, our sensing technology, so you'll see we're not completely covering the box. So we, we can miss it, we can make some mistakes, but still safely lift the boxes. Yeah, so not just the suction there, but the sensing, not yeah. the sensing too. You know, I, I, th I think I remember two or three, well, probably would have been three or four years ago here at PPMA show, you mentioned Cobots there. And of course, that was very much what the conversation was around. You know, right, how so can yes. we provide support to people at their workstation where there is an element of manual work still, but still be able to take some of the load off or, you know, automate some of that process. And that's uh, certainly what we're seeing here in, in more ways than one. Um, let's carry on looking at what we've got here because yep, yep, oh, much, love to see heavy loads lifted and two, we've got... Two glamorous assistants over here. Uh, where, where? We've just got these two <laughs> gents instead. Uh, hello, Andy. Uh, hello, team. How are you doing? All right? Yeah. So what do we look at? Well, I, I think we can see what we're looking at here. But the actual suction under there, they look like two very small cups considering the amount of weight that they're going to be lifting. Yeah, but it's um, basically the powers in, in the vacuum and in that tube there, and that, the, the tube's doing the lifting for you. So you're just basically using those cups at the bottom to seal off the vacuum and then allow the tube to do the lifting for you. Can I have a go? Of course you can. Yeah, course you can. I, I've, I have used one of these before. It's not 
as always as easy as I think it is. Gentle. So, it is so anybody can do it. So let's. Uh, there we go. So just a little squeeze, and I'm going up, yeah. and then let go, and I'm going down. And then how do I let go altogether? Is it a push down? Push that top lever there down. Okay. Down. And there we go. I'm going to hand that back to you now in case I do break something <laughs> silly. Thank you very much. I love having a go with tech, and that's a that's a lot of fun. Um. Thank you so much for taking us on a walk around your stand. Uh, and PPMA show, what does, it, what does it mean to you? Why is it an important date, set of dates in your calendar, Colin? Yeah, we, we, we've been a member of PPMA for a long time now, and, and we see it as a very important part of, of, of the people that we work with and the OEMs that we use, and a lot of our customers are here. Yeah. Um, and so it's, it's nice to get together and kind of complete that circle, shall we say, and uh, join it all together. And in terms of good quality conversations, in terms of uh, helping to fill that order book for the rest of the year, certainly quite a helpful place for that as well, I'm sure. Absolutely, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're finding it's, um, it, 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 it's good. It's, it's a good place to be at the moment, I think, in packaging and food. Yeah, yeah. Well, we're, we're always going to need it. Let's, let, let's face it. Uh, Colin, thank you very much indeed for joining us today. And uh, I, I'm just going to go and have a play on your suction cup table. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Okay, cheers. Thank you. Cheers.